at Normal Show Live's coverage of the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup here in Los Angeles, California. And uh, sitting next to me is Ed Forcian, otherwise known as the New Jersey Weed Man, but now in California. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Russ. Hey, man. Uh, so people have been following you for a long time, your travails, all the different court cases and, and runs for office that you've gone through. Uh, what's the latest with the New Jersey Weed Man? Tell us what's happening with that. Well, actually, I've been uh, kind of bi-coastal with my fights lately. Yeah, it seems uh, like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I still have my case in New Jersey that I go to trial on on April 10th in Burlington County, which I've been asking people to occupy my courtroom. And it's the best. It's, I'm really advocating very publicly of a jury nullification case. Yeah. You know, I'm arguing the law is wrong. That's what I plan on telling my jury. I want the jury to read everything in the press that... That that's what I'm arguing. Yeah. And then, of course, here in California, I, have a, I had a dispensary. I actually won my case with the state here when the state raided me. But recently, the feds came in and raided me and just put me out of business. They basically took everything, took my money, took my all the weed, basically left me penniless. And I lost my place because I got raided. And then where, where which uh, county or where are we at here in Oh, it's Los Angeles. Los Angeles, right, right here in LA. Los Angeles, right. And wow. my, my dispensary actually was on Hollywood Boulevard. It was the Liberty Bell Temple. Right, okay. Yeah, and I've been here for th over three years, and uh, I've gone through quite a bit, but we were, we were pretty successful. It was a little unique little spot in, in Hollywood, and uh, everything was fine until the DEA came in on December the 13th and basically ended it. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, with uh, this... Uh, crackdown is going on. There's, they're trying to just eliminate our ability to uh, raise money, to organize. I really see this now as not being about the marijuana, but being about the politics. It's like they want to shut us up. They want us to go away before everyone figures out the truth and that we've been wrong for now 100 years or so. Well, the DEA officers who, uh, who did my case bet definitely told me that that's what it was about. Yeah. They, they didn't hide it. Um, basically said that I was uh, they were they were told <laughs> to put me out of business and they weren't even intending to arrest me or charge me it was all about putting me out of business yeah, these the situation these smash and grab this thuggery this, these tactics where they don't have to arrest anyone they don't have to do anything they can just go in and bust up your stuff or take your stuff. I love I love the asset force picture as well, where you know yeah. they they take your money, they charge your money with a crime, and you have to go find find a lawyer to prove your money was innocent when you don't have any money. <laughs> they, right. They took exactly. it. It's like, exactly. What a jacked up system this is. Yeah, most people lose their money like that. It's yeah. Catch twenty two, and um, I had that happen to me before too, and I didn't even fight for it. it just they just took it. Yeah. They just took it, and there was nothing to do. I, it, it would have cost me a bunch of money with, if I got a lawyer. Um, right away, the lawyer's telling me, uh, you know, this is going to cost, that's going to cost, and the judge is not going to let you. And if you do fight it, you're just setting yourself up as a target of the of the Justice Department anyway. Right, right. So, you know, it, it turned out not to be worth it, and I walked away from that. That was like two years ago. Now this time, they took everything. They took everything, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's yeah. tough. It's tough. You're one of the warriors that's out there on the front lines, you know, and they're directly going after you, your assets, your message, what people are, uh, you know, just trying to trying to shut us down. And it's so brave of you to be standing up and, and doing this and having to go fight this court battle. So if people want to help you out, Ed, uh, how can they do that? they got websites, places they can donate or get more info? Well, I've been telling everyone to go to my website, njweedman.com, and... Uh, Basically, spread the message about my upcoming case. You know, I'm not asking much. I want people to spread the message about my upcoming case because, again, what I'm doing in my case in New Jersey is I'm advocating jury nullification. Now, I know over, and you know, over 50% of Americans believe marijuana should be legal. That said and done, I think a jury of my peers, there will be at least several members of the jury who will believe marijuana should be legal. And I'm representing myself. And in my opening statement, basically, I'm going to explain me, and I'm going to explain how I believe that marijuana should be legal, that, that, this, that the law is wrong and not I. And that's what I want. I want my jury to, you know, use their, their own conscience and 
you know, acquit me. And now, for the last 15 years in my little corner of New Jersey, Burlington County, Camden County area, I've been, you know, that eccentric guy that's been talking about marijuana for, you know, the last 15 years. Yeah. Everyone in that area knows me. I mean, you know, if you know anything about marijuana, you know me. If you are a politician wannabe, you know me because I always get on the ballot. I always, every year, that was that was one of my early things that I did. I just called it basically as a as a way of civil disobedience. Every year, I would get on the ballot under the legalized marijuana party, and basically that would be my my only thing that I talked about. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I was that quirky guy in like 1997 when I first did it. You know, but now, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I think I graduated to a different level that, that everyone's like, you know, you know that guy? He was right all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, well. that's what I get now in New Jersey. And, you know, I get positive press, and I think the press is on my side as far as, uh, you know, should I be allowed to tell the truth to the jury? And that's basically all I tell everybody. Like, I should be able to be allowed to tell the truth. The truth. And the truth is, the law is a lie. You know, the right. law the law is wrong. And most of us and most members of the jury know that. And I just think it's funny that New Jersey has as two years ago legalized medical marijuana and then has not implemented it. And for the last two years it's been a big fight and the press has been covering it back and forth and the timing of my court case is just gonna get sucked into all that the politics of pot. Right. It already has been, you know. Me out here in California showing that I was uh, selling marijuana out of, at a dispensary and I had it all on the internet. All the people in New Jersey were looking back and, and watching me also. I had a huge following in New Jersey and the sky wasn't falling, you know? Yeah. You know, in New Jersey, that's what that's what Governor Christie acts like. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> the, the sky's going to fall if we... Uh, it'd be terrible. <laughs> yeah, it'd be terrible. We don't want it to be like California. That's what he says. That's oh, part I've of his... It. Yeah. I've heard it. And I'm like, uh, you know, that pissed me off one time. I wrote a letter. Of course, I mailed weed with the letter, and I wrote him a letter. And for a little while, I was on a letter-writing campaign to Christy, uh, the Governor Christy Christie, Christy, Christopher Christie. Yeah. And, uh, What's up yeah, with that? Yeah, I, I, would, I would just, yeah. <laughs> we, have a, we have a talk radio host in Portland called Lars Larson. Uh -huh. I'd love to get him to interview Chris Christie. <laughs> Lars Larson interviews Chris Christie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But, but Christopher Christie... Uh, he, he has this thing about allowing medical marijuana to be implemented. Like, I, I really Doesn't can't believe to, yeah. for, for two years he has stalled as one excuse after another excuse. And, um, you know, it's, oh, and, the, and the few steps he has taken on this issue, he's, uh, you know, in bed with all these, you know, his political cronies on and, and trying to, uh, if there's going to be anything done, his friends are going to get rich on it. It's just awful. I, we uh, work with uh, Chris Goldstein out there and Ken Wolski, a couple right. guys out in, in New Jersey, are mm -hmm. always telling us about what's going on behind the scenes that we can't talk about on the air, right? It's like, right. oh, that's just those, ooh, those <laughs> bastards. Well, I hope my court case becomes a referendum on Governor Christie's policies and tactics. I hope you know, so, too. I, I really hope that a, a, a lot of the uh, marijuana reformers show up at my courtroom. I, I'm constantly advocating to occupy my courtroom. That's what I want them to do. All right, so let's give them the dates and the times and the website so they can do that. All right, I'm going on a trial in Burlington County. April 10th is the day it's scheduled before Judge Delahaye. And my website is njweedman.com, and I basically put everything on there, njweedman.com. Right on. Ed Fortune, thanks for joining us. Yeah. njweedman.com, and uh, check it out. And good luck on everything. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Russ. All right, we'll thanks. be back. Thanks, High Times, Normal. We'll be All back with more coverage <laughs> of the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup here. We're winding things up on the Sunday, and uh, the awards are coming up soon. We will stream those live, assuming that the internet uh, will make it out that far. Uh, we don't know how good the wireless will be. The stage is a little bit farther out there, but we will do our best. If we get signal, we will bring it to you starting at around 7.30 p.m. Pacific time and uh, other stuff as we uh, think of it. So stay tuned. High Times, Normal Show Live, Medical Cannabis Cup.